yep, back out. This time I'm back at Grassmere. I've got the road open, the one that collapsed, and I'm heading up Helm Crag, one of my old favourites. The reason being is that I don't know if you can see the pack I'm carrying. <laughs> it's about 50 stone, but I've got me drawn, and I'm going to try. Although the wind's picking up. work about four already packed set off it's uh, half seven now so with this pack on I might get to the top about 12 o'clock see what happens about a mile and a half in this is where the work starts, up there, on the windy path, and then just boom, it's straight up, it's a leg breaker, it's alright once you get so far, just a um, word of warning to anybody, these are fox gloves, and they're poisonous, very poison, leaves and all that, and they were, um, they were introduced in this car to this country by Thomas Foxglove who was uh, a chemist in the 1700s and he killed I think it was 8,000 people because he fed them all foxgloves he'd made them he bred them with another plant crocus or something Thomas Foxglove murderer true true story this is full of facts, this walk, because it's a fascinating place. So, we'll get some walking done, a bit sweating, buffing and panting, and then we'll get some facts. Whew! I'm not going to follow this with this pack on. Oh, it's as heavy as I've ever known it. Don't know why. This is about 200 meters. That's the view you get. Grassmere. Mere. Mere. Meaning like lake or body of water or something. Grassmere. And that's the village. It's a nice village, but take plenty of money. You know what to charge. So I'm heading up that path there. It's a long way to go. This pack's knacking us. It's far too heavy. You idiot. This is like an easy walk. I've done this hill many times, I've never been this knackered before. Been getting out of it all through the week as well. I think it's just as well, I would have been dead. Easdale Tarn over there. In the, behind them. Oh, there's some sheep. <whistles> Look at the state of us. See how sweat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bit off one out of two here. Well, oh, we'll crack on. We'll get there. There's no panic. So far to go now. Just to be serious for a while. Only for a second while I'm getting my breath. Kind of place to get your breath. See these ferns when you're walking up in the um, anywhere really where there's these. Heather and things. The sheep hide in them, you know. The sheep walk through them. They sleep in them as well, so you know they just appear the sheep. But this is where if you like you know ticks, you get ticks in the ferns. 
obviously the jump off the sheep land on the bush you walk past tick jumps on you time to freak out so there's a thing called a tick twister look on it's not rude look on ebay it's called o tom tick twister and they're probably the best way to get them out you get the thing take like a little hook put it underneath its head you've got to keep calm if you start panicking and that it will just bite you you know make it worse if you panic and pull it off the head will get stuck i know a lot of people know this but there's people who don't this is prime territory for ticks so i'll be checking all right but it's a tick twister if you look on um, ebay for them forgot mine like haven't i <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your tick twister. Have you got yours? No. Forgot it. But anyway, tiny little thing. Looks like a toothpick with a little fork on the end. And it's just one of them things you should really carry. I will bring it on the next trip. I just didn't bring it tonight. We get up here. Ugh. And it just opens up, just pitch here. Hell of a, the hell of a gun up there. Gotta go up there, around the side, up there, and then the summit's over there. That's yeah, not far. Oh, just give myself a lot to do. Let's pack. It's a pretty wolf down there howling. I bet it's a werewolf. Yeah, he's the waterfall. If you go there on a hot day, walk up that path along the side there and you get to the waterfall, there's a bit you can just jump in there Perfect if there's water in it like It's, uh, it's deep enough to get in and It'd be nice and cold, you know, a nice walk up there, hot walk Just jump straight in that, I think I might do that this year Anyway, whoo Go oh, Tom Tick Twister. Have a look for eBay. I'm pretty sure there's a little video shows you how to use it properly. Look, blue sky, gone on. Yes. I might get some stars tonight. Maybe. Prime example. Sheep in the ferns. Now at the top. Come here, give us a piggy back or a sheepy back. Come back, help me, help me, help me. Whoo! I think I'm beyond help. Like, well, I'm nearly there. That's the top, just up there. But look at this over here, man. These views over there, Hellvelin in the cloud. My car's parked down there. You see that tree on the road? My car's right underneath it. Grass mere. Oh man. It's lovely up here. It's not hard. I'm just making it hard because I've got this big pack on. This is an easy walk. This. Anybody can do this. If I didn't have the pack on, I would have been up hours ago. I see an easy little torn just sticking out there. Hey, what's not like about this place, eh? Whew! Cue the music! <laughs> I'll turn it off. <laughs> I'll get copyright blocked. It's just this, it just suits the mood, this tune.
It's one of them. He's one of them sheep ninjas. Oi! Oh, it's off. Look here. How would they do this? That's a sheer drop over there. Don't be mad. Come this way. Oi! <laughs> it's gonna just drop off the edge. That's literally a sheer drop off there. If he goes any further, he's gone. He's had it. Uh, he's took a sensible option. Sheep, be gone. And he was gone. Yes, please. Scarfell's all lit up. The sun's really trying. Supposed to be a nice day tomorrow. Best day of the week so far tomorrow. This place is going to be packed. I'm not rushing off the Mar Lake. I'm going to do some um, aerial footage maybe when the sun's out. I'm meeting a lad um, tomorrow at Langdale at Bay's Brown Farm. I'm meeting Stevie, Stevie Hobbs and Junior. Junior Hobbs. I should change my name to Calvin. Um, we're not camping up in the hills, we're camping on the site because he hasn't got all his gear together yet. So we're just going to do the site camp, but we're going we're to plan a walk a couple of the fells up in the Langdales, Pike of Stickle, um, Loft Crag, another one, I can't remember. Whew. Even half my legs will be up to it after this tonight. It's hard on my legs, this. I'll be right. Anyway, so yeah, meet you tomorrow. Do a few, walk a few fells. So it's just a one wild camp. I'll be on a site tomorrow. Probably, probably be glad of it. Like. Right, Whew. not far now. Over there, at the top. So, here we are at the top of Helm Crag. Nearly the other summit's behind me, but this one here is called the Lion and the Lamb. The lamb's just in front of it. See the shape of the lion? It's believed to be the only fossilized remains of a Chinese lion which died up here in um, well, fossilized it's gonna be a long time ago on it over a hundred years 1600 something like that it's the only fossilized remains of the Chinese lion in the world and it's, it's the top of here I don't know how it got here like but it died here Right. That's fact number one. I'll take you on to the summit for fact number two. It's even better. Ah, wind's arrived. Shit, this. Hold on. That there is the summit of Helm Crag, the true summit. And it's called the Howitzer. And that's because, if you look at it, cannon fossilized ancient monument the Romans had the cannon up here obviously where the baits are big and the war was won they just left it and it became fossilized that's why it's there it's the howitzer I'm telling you man google it oh, the wind the wind The only one Wayne Wright didn't climb up there. I'm not gonna date because I, I can't be bothered. I've done it before. Right, this is where I'm pitching anyway, around here. Check there's nobody here. Nobody here, there's my pitch. And sheep muck.
beach here. So, tent set up. I'll just pull it back here. Yeah. The wind's got up, so I kind of put the drop in. It just come out of nowhere. I don't think it was forecast either. I'm really knackered. Been at work today, like it's 9:30 now. What do we reckon? I don't know if you can see this, but on the can there, this part of the can where Old Wainwright sits is excuse the wind is that. from the opposite direction obviously but that's the that's the howitzer on the can oh I'm putting it in in the tent excuse me I'm putting it in the tent out the way of that wind oh man it's just come out of nowhere the wind I don't know where that's come from it wasn't forecast so that's the drone not going up four cans I was going to climb up the um, the side of that howitzer as well, but I'll probably get blown off it. So I'll don't I'll bother. See what it's like in the morning. Forecast nice tomorrow. Sunshine. And hopefully Hopefully the wind will drop. I really hope so, because the wind just you can't do any filming, you know, you can't do any drone work. You can't do now for the wind. It does keep the midges away. But it's a bit, it's a bit too much wind, you know what I mean? So I think I'm just gonna chill out, Ooh, have a couple of beers, probably be asleep early. See if the stars come out later, try and do a night lapse. Try and do a night lapse the way um, there's a lad called Chris Pinnell, who's on YouTube as nobody you would know. Put it there. Nobody you would know. Um, check out his channel. He's got some brilliant videos. Like he, he sort of guided us with the um, the night laps. And you know how to speed the speed the frames up and all the rest of it. I was I was getting there, but he kind of put us in the right direction. So hats off for that. Um, but his channel's brilliant. He needs more subs. So have a look at his channel. Give him a sub because there's some fabulous footage on there. Like he's good with that drone too good um, but yeah I wanted to get that drone up tonight but it's not happening like it's not not in this wind it'll just vanish so I'll see what it's like tomorrow anyway uh, well for now I'm gonna have a few beers I'm not really hungry either I might not have not yet I've got some mug shots pretty chilly you know that wind so I'm just gonna get in sit in my tent put Craig Charles on and uh, just chill out what I'm here for, chill out after work. I tell you, pretty hard carrying that backpack up like that's ridiculous. I don't know what made it so heavy. Probably the drone, eh? Right. Anyway, John, this is where it's at. Right here. Friday night after work. Kind of beat it, man.
Whew. Are enough already sick? The wind is just bloody constant. Can I do now? It's freezing. It's um it's the 17th of June today. That's the middle of June I. Right? And it's absolutely freezing. I'm sitting here with a coat on, a fleece and a base layer. And I'm in the tent with the door shut. Ridiculous man. What's the matter with this weather? Anyway. Oh, the moon's out. Uh, so that might ruin the time lapse of the night lapse. I'll try and get one. I don't know. It's a bit cloudy you know, the big black clouds come off before. Yeah, but be yeah, alright. Not worried. It's nice and chilled out. Give me a little way in rights. I've got more of them and then uh, see what the see if there's a break in the cloud. Some stars. If not, tomorrow night I've looked at the weather forecast. I can get a phone signal like five, ten yards that way. Nothing here. It's no service here. But if I walk up there, five, ten yards, it comes on. Full 3G. How's that? Explain that. Anyway, um, yeah, I had a look at the weather, so tomorrow um, in Langdale, it's supposed to be a really nice day, like proper nice sun and nighttime clear sky. Um, well, it's a really clear sky, no wind. So we should have a nice night tomorrow. Could after a, after a good walk, a few pints and a bit of crack around the, the campfire. There's no campfire. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off from the rubbish and me tittle tattle and rabbiting on, rambling. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Now, where's Craig Charles? He's here somewhere. Only that thick, it's mountain equipment sleep mat, but it's comfortable, you know. But that pillow's awful. So that's next on my list. So the weather's changed, it's quite nice now. Have a look over here. Well, say that, it's cloudy like, but there's no wind. I've just got packed up, the tent's empty, the bag. Drone bag. I carry all that back down now. Nice backdrop, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll just get back down. And then I'm gonna go for some breakfast, Keswick. And then head over to the Langdales. Feels a bit daft going back to Keswick. Grassmere prices. Anyway, and then I'm gonna meet Stevie hopefully. Do a few, climb a few mountains. And then watch as my legs drop off. Hmm. Right, let's get this show 